So next up on the St. Lawrence River skiff, we're going to try and replace this plank. It's about uh, seven feet long. I've got the old one out, used pretty much as a template. And uh, we're going to scarf in. We've already got, there was a scarf joint here. We're going to create a scarf down the other end and see if we can fit one full plank. First up is to rip a nice piece of Ed Crane cedar to about five and a half inches wide. This is more than wide enough for this plank. Then we use the planer to plane the board down to a, an even 5 8 thickness, which is what we So here's our old plank. Came out pretty good. However, if you recall, this plank was split right down the middle. So what I've done is I have tacked it back together with some 5 minute epoxy, just so that I can use a template. So it's not going to be perfect but it's going to work. Now that we have it marked, I can take it over the bandsaw for a quick rough cut. With the board cut, take it to the bench, using the block plane, and we'll clean it up to the line. With my marking gauge set to three quarters of an inch, I can mark the bevel. It's nice to mark the edge with a black tip mark, just so that you don't over bevel. The existing laps are about two and a half inches on the 5 8 plank. So I'm just going to roughly remove some material from my block plane. Then I'll take it to the disc. And using the belt portion of the uh, disc sander makes a nice clean lap. So here I'm using the angle grinder again to quickly remove some material on the lap and then cleaning it up with a coarse sandpaper on my multi-tool. So after offering the plank up to the boat, I've marked where the actual end of the plank is, cut it with a pole saw, and then begin creating the scarf joint. And then we can offer the plank up to the boat so that I can mark where the lap joint needs to go on the second end of the plank. So with it in place, a simple pencil mark will do. Then we'll take the plank out and add the scarf joint to the second end. So the last thing to do here is to clean up the outer edge of the plank, which has a bit of a bevel and more of a rounding over so that it's a bit thinner on the outer edge. Using the block plane, a little bit of sandpaper, we'll get rid of all of our pencil marks and felt tip marks. Now I don't think the original uh, scarfs were glued. 
but I'm going to glue them together with some epoxy and thicken epoxy just to be sure we've got a tight fit. And here we go with the final offering of the plank onto the boat, fitting all in place as marked. A little bit of adjustment here and there, and we can begin to clinch nail first to the few ribs that are in there using copper clench nails with a clenching iron hooking the end of the nail over and then we can follow up with clenching with a little bit shorter clench nails all of the planks together. If you've enjoyed this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and click subscribe.